Russian pricing fight is heating up across the Hudson, where one lawmaker is looking to block the plan at a federal level. Meanwhile, a new ad campaign in the Garden State is beefing up the cause. PIX 11's Kieran Dillon joins us with more on the story. Kieran. Hi, guys. Good morning. Well, this is a story that really has everybody talking. A lot of people impacted. The MTA's tolling plan could begin as soon as next April, but U.S. Senator Bob Menendez says he's planning to combat the plan by introducing a new bill to the Senate. Now, under the plan, motorists driving in Manhattan below 60th Street could pay up to $23 each time they enter Manhattan. On Friday, the Federal Highway Administration gave New York State a heads up for the plan, and a final decision comes after a 30-day review from the public by the public. Now, under Senator Menendez's proposed legislation, any state that would impose a congestion pricing plan to the adverse effect of a neighboring state would lose federal transportation dollars. We're going to push the Secretary of Transportation. We're going to push the legislation. This is all about a money grab for the MTA's budget. It doesn't work well when you ultimately pick on one neighbor uh, as a way to solve your problems. Now, in response to the senator's proposed legislation, the MTA has responded in part, saying, quote, the idea of penalizing the MTA for taking steps invited and approved by the federal government is slightly absurd. Meantime, a nonprofit group uh, called Choose New Jersey has launched a billboard campaign to bring businesses to Jersey to avoid the extra tolls. In a statement about this, about this business plan, about this group, uh, Governor Murphy said, quote, New York's congestion tax scheme is unfair for North Jersey commuters who already pay so much in tolls and fees. At the same time, it presents an opportunity for us to stress the value proposition of New Jersey for New York City residents and businesses alike. An ideal location, talented pool of workers, less congestion, and most importantly, no congestion tax. So again, guys, this is an ongoing issue. Uh, we're hearing from both sides. Coming up this morning at 8 o'clock, we'll actually be speaking with New York uh, Representative Josh Gothheimer about this whole thing, so you want to stay tuned for that.